Hi guys and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. So this is the third in the series. If you're new to using World Painter, there is a link in the description to a playlist which I do recommend you guys watching as I'm starting completely from scratch in 2019 and I'm sure I'll do the same in the future. So in this episode anyway, what we're going to be talking about is planning and proper planning and there's a reason for it. I started a new map and I didn't plan it the same as I've always done it and because of that I've come into some issues so I'm going to be starting again with that map. But um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about planning, how you can also pull images into World Painter so you can use them as a stencil. I'm actually going to be using that here so we can actually uh, use that as a kind of like a base that we can then reference off for some of the islands. And uh, that's what we've got in front of us right now. This is actually a tool made by a guy called well, it's Asgard's Fantasy Map Generator. It's very good. I'll leave a link in the description below to it. Uh, and yeah, it is, it is absolutely phenomenal really for what you what it kind of you can use it for so with Asgars what you can do uh, just to go over a couple of little bit basics if you go into options you'll get the map template and a lot of these are very different so there's like volcano uh, that's fine um, so there we go there's a, apparently that's volcano that actually looks like a really cool looking island actually might be what exactly what I want but uh, I don't know let's keep on going anyway um, yeah high land high island as well uh, you've got the low island so there's all these different like settings that you can do. Uh, archipelago as well, of course. So if you want loads of little islands and you, you're looking for some inspiration, this is kind of cool. So I wouldn't go with that one, but the rest of them, like this one here, this is more. This almost looks like Philippines, like doesn't it, with all the different, uh, completely different shapes of islands. Uh, they've also got atoll and Mediterranean. Mediterranean one is actually a new one that I noticed the other day, uh, which looks kind of cool. So if you're going to actually have this, you could even fill in the rest uh, with your own imagination. You know, where you just got this inner sea. And you want lots of land, and you want it really varied, and uh, obviously this is supposed to be more like uh, like Italy or something like that. But really, really cool. Uh, Peninsula's pretty damn cool as well. Um, not so much that one, but you know some of them are really damn cool. And I, it reminds me of like Essos or something like that. Uh, and then obviously Pangaea as well. Uh, one big island to kind of like rule them all uh, is one thing. Now, one of my favourites is continents, uh, just because it gives you like two islands, so you kind of kind of get a really good idea. Uh, off of a couple different shapes just with that, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. But actually, from what the <laughs> one it ended up generating earlier, if we go for like a volcano one, I'm just going to skip through a couple of these uh, just to see if we can get a nice base shape. Something even actually like something like that. I like this like port area here, so I'm going to use this one. Um, you've also got another load of different things. What I like to do is actually get rid of uh, tools. So I want to click to add. No, I don't want any of those tools. Where is the style? So political map, cultural map. Oh, there it is, right. You just click on them. So there we go. We're going to turn off states. I'm going to turn off the labels as well. Um, and borders. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not even worried about the routes. But what I do want, have we got here? Do, 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 population. No, that's absolutely all fine. Uh, rivers. Can't even see the rivers on there, but that'll do. So something like this will do. So I'm just going to go and grab this. I'm going to use the snipping tool, which is the good old... Uh, Windows version of the snipping tool kind of thing. Uh, I quite like this. I even like this little island over here. So there we go. Going to actually, I've just noticed with this, there's a little bit down here as well. So I might need to, if I can, zoom out. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. Let's grab this picture in here. This will do. And save that one. So let's save that as um, map. I oh, know that's a very <laughs> generic sounding name. So anyway, how do we get this into World Painter? Well, first, obviously, if you're doing a brand new map, uh, you're going to have to create one. So I'm just going to call... Well, actually, I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but I know it's for my Patreon medieval kind of um, people that I'm going to be building with. And I know that I'm going to be having a big map, but how big do I want this one? Uh, let's go for like 8,000 by 8,000. I'm going to go for quite a big sized map for this because I can always trim it down later. I'm actually planning on, um, you know, building this up as we go. Now I'm not going to go through a lot of these settings, so what I'm just going to do is cut down on here. So surface material, going to sand. Uh, beaches, I'm not gonna, even going to bother with. And uh, my water, I usually go for 50. But again, that's all going to be in my basic uh, kind of tutorial, so that should already exist. So let's just let that build up now. There we go. So how do we get the map into it? Because we've got this nice big uh, 8K by 8K map, which is absolutely huge for what we need. You can either press this button here, but what I recommend doing, because you will lose it, this thing here, um, actually if I show you guys that, so if you click on this here, you then get this uh, kind of like image type thing, so we'll go and collect that, which we called it map, and there we go, get that now, you get this whole scale. 
don't worry about that for now. And then we just do close and there we go. There we go. Got it there. So if you click on that again, you'll notice it just disappears and reappears. You don't get that same box. So the way you go to it is view and configure view. I recommend just always go and view and configure view. It'll make it a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up by about 400% as well. So there we go. And you can do fit to dimension, but not too worried about that. So there we go. Do that. And I also need to move it as well. So let's offset it on the Y by probably about minus 1000. Probably gonna do it. No, it's not, okay. Minus 2000 then. Minus, yeah, minus 2000. And that's actually gonna do for, for where we actually want to be. So that's pretty good. So that's how you actually get your map up onto it or any sort of image. So I'm going to use this, of course, like I just said, as a stencil. So how are we going to go about doing some planning? I don't want to go on that. Uh, how are we going to do, go about doing some planning? Um, I just wanted to mention as well, guys, transparency, if this does, if it's too um, too strong or whatever, you can always turn down the transparency, or if it's not enough at all, you can turn it up as well. So um, yeah, I've just got that in there as a nice little note. So planning-wise, what I'm going to be doing is um, putting down a couple bits of your annotations. So annotations are really, really useful. So if we click on the pencil tool, we then go to annotation. I'm going to be using the light grey uh, for mountains. So what I'm going to do is have a look at this map. This is why this is really, really useful. Um, this one I'm not too worried about. It's not going to really have any mountains. But this here, what I kind of want is this is kind of like, to me, a really nice like city zone. You know, we could have like a nice castle on here. We could have a little fort on the other side. And then they go into this nice safe harbour. So let's actually put some mountains around the back part of it. Like maybe here. Let's go down to small. I'm just going to have this as mountains. I might even just draw a line. In fact, and I'm actually going to also have the mountains kind of go down to here. And also even go up to here as well. Like there's another chain. Because what we've got here, because we've got an island, there'd be something that's raised the terrain up um, in some way. So I'm, I'm trying to think of how I can actually do that. I am going to put a little, little dotty mountain on there. And maybe even actually bring this over. So this could be quite mountainous kind of area around here. Uh, and then it kind of like goes off into here, uh, down there. So that gives us a nice like nice split between the two. So that's our two kind of like yeah two mountainous areas. Uh, and the next thing we're going to want to do is then after that it's going to be rivers. So rivers, of course, are really useful. I'm just going to zoom in. And yeah, this here, if this is going to be our capital, we're going to want a good river from there. So I'm actually thinking of even having this mountain range just go around to there because it then suits our purpose of being able to make a nice river going into it. But this is why planning is very good. So yeah, we're going to start off obviously really, really small. And that's just going to go probably into like somewhere like there. Or maybe we can even have it, you know, where it joins. Something like that. And of course this would be a little bit bigger at the down. Bottom here. And don't worry about doing it like perfect. It's like typical uh, kind of, you know, drawing of something. Um, so to make this a little bit interest more interesting, I've got these two the mountain splits on here. Let's go for... A little bit more mountains as well, even split down here, maybe even go this way, maybe go this way. So we're going to have like this more crazy kind of thing going on. We get like more hills going on in this bit, and even this could go in here. So we can get some interesting kind of terrain within this, uh, inside the island in this bit. Uh, make that quite interesting. I'm not really too sure about these, but I'm just going to right click to remove some of it. At least there we go. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect at all. And I might, in fact, remove that one. Move that one, we have like a more of a hilly kind of terrain going around here. Uh, and the same again here, maybe this can be more bigger mountains on this bit. That will at least kind of like pull these bits in. We've got this bit of land on here. Do you want to do something? Uh, actually, no, I don't. I want to have more of it being raised up by these two here, maybe, and then leave it like that. And that actually looks okay. I mean, because we can have some nice, you know, plains around here as well. Uh, and it also creates a nice natural area. So there we go. Nice area bit there. So. What I'll do is I'm going to continue on just doing some mapping out and I'll talk about the next step. Alright, so I've spent quite a bit of time just putting in all the different rivers and also just kind of um, refining the mountains a little bit. So with the rivers, I've got quite a few where, of course, they do have like smaller forks that go from you know streams and they make bigger rivers. Obviously, this is going to be one of the major areas here, so I'm going to be really focusing on that. Um, the other kind of cool thing that I've got down here is a definite river wood kind of uh, from Skyrim kind of feel here where we've got like a little um, island in between like rivers that have kind of like split. So that's something I really wanted to do. And I've also brought out this here. So we actually get like some sort of 
more secretive kind of village or more protected village for, for whatever reasons. We can make quite an interesting lot of people there. But the rest of them are pretty simple. So we've got quite a few of them, you know, one's going from here. It's going to be quite a nice one and I wanted to have it split and we've got some normal single rivers. Uh, and I've done the same also on this tiny little island. It's only going to have a small river. I'm going to have a look at that one in more detail. So at the minute we haven't even placed down a single block. We've got nothing that we could actually work with. So what we're going to do... First, what actually what we're going to do is set a couple uh, defaults. So if you go into Edit and you go into Dimension Properties, then you go into Theme. So this is where actually I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you. It's going to be a lot easier. So if you use the Mountain tool rather than the Raise and Lower, and I know I always use the Raise and Lower, but if you use the Mountain one, you get this Apply Theme down the bottom, and I'll just show you what it actually does. These are really weird in the misc actually. I don't know <laughs> what Gensung's been doing with these. But if I just raise this, what you'll start to see eventually. There we go. So it starts with sand, that should, there we go, goes to dirt, right, there we go, let me zoom in, that goes to dirt, and then on top of that we've got rock. So what it does is for different layers, it actually automatically applies different uh, blocks. So that is what this does here, uh, this themes thing here does, so it's really, really good. So what you might want to do is sand goes up all the way up to uh, 53 is what I usually do. Uh, and then I'm actually going to have normal grass for mine, bare grass, uh, because I'm going to be painting on top of that. So I'm going to do that at 54. And then on top of that, probably rock will do for now. Uh, but deep snow, I've never been keen on this, so I usually just get rid of that. Because I prefer to paint with um, actual snow on top of it. Be 159, that doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I actually go up to 175 or something like that will do. Um, and that noisy edge is really good. So we can actually use that just as a something to like save us a little bit of time. Um, the next thing I want to do is basically you want to create a completely flat map. So what I'm going to do actually is create it on here. Um, now grab whatever brush you want. If you want it quite noisy, you get it quite noisy. I wouldn't advise using any of the default brushes. So do use those custom brushes that I showed you guys how to do in episode one of this series. And again, if you haven't haven't checked that out and you do want these custom brushes, do uh, jump into the description actually grab that. Um, we're actually going to use more of a hill brush I think is going to be a little bit easier. So we're going to grab that, we're going to use this uh, mountain brush so it, it does those themes and we're going to say at or below, right, and we're going to go to uh, let's go to probably, let's get it right to, right to the edge so I think it's 50 because I've got the water at 50. Let me just raise this up quickly and see what happens. And that feels like it's going a lot higher. <laughs> <laughs> Undo that. So why is that doing that there? That doesn't make any sense. Out or above, out or below. That should totally work. Unless it's because it's the mountain brush. Maybe it can only work with this one. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, so okay, you can't use the mountain brush, it turns out. That's fine. We can we can do some defaults later on that will actually sort that out. Um, so what I'm also going to do is actually turn off the annotations for now. So we've just got the map in the background so I don't get distracted by these kind of like rivers and everything like that. So there we go. We're going to have that go up to 50 so that'll just be poking out the water. I'm just going to drag this along to the sides and be quite rough with it. You don't have to get it perfect at all, you know. And you'll you'll find places like, like this bit here I don't really like so I'll end up doing something else with that. I'll make it a little bit sharper. I do like that there's um, like a, a peninsula there but I don't really like what it actually looks like. So there we go. So you basically come around here and use this to basically create a base. And that's what you're doing. You're creating a really kind of like base layer. Um, and then we can build on top of that. We can build our mountains and then we can do all of the hills and everything from there. So there we go. I can just complete this up here. Drag this around here. I'm just going to uh, kind of like bring this out. Love it. And also I have this going out. There you go. So do change things, you know. Um, the map generator Asgars is absolutely phenomenal, but sometimes what you, you what you might want is something that looks a little bit different. I'm actually going to get a mountain tool, so it's a little bit or cliffs. Probably. Where's the mountains? I know they're down there. There we go, mountains. So we go for. Let it auto save. There we go. Let's go for this one. Just because I know that mountain brushes, because they're so so much stronger, uh, it'll be a little bit quicker to raise up the terrain. That's all. So there we go, get this in here. I quite like this point here, it's almost like I can imagine. Um, and, and do think about what you're actually going to be building on these maps as well. Um, because it will help shape your entire your entire world really. Um, and I really like this kind of like river area. So I'm actually going to pull this back a little bit. 
um, because it's it's a really nice natural bay, and I can kind of imagine the settlement actually being here, like around this area. So they're gonna have like ships and everything in 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 this whole kind of middle area here. So yeah, just keep on going around everything and build all of that up. And that will give you a nice kind of base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just whip around this simple map. Um, this like Just this small island for now. Uh, and then I'm going to get onto the big one. This is the reason I've done the small one. Is because I've chosen a very big map to actually make. But uh, yeah, do you know fill all this in. We'll have a look at the end result. And I'll talk about the last steps on the planning phase. Alright, so once you've actually done all of that, you should have a very nice flat kind of sandy area most likely. Now I've done a couple different things to my map, so in a, in a couple of places I put in a couple little bit of islands. I really like islands because they're nice and small in order to do like smaller projects. And I've also added another island up here, I wanted this to be more like a kind of like broken chain, almost like this was part of the continent and it's either drifted apart or, um, you know, it's just like it's raised in different pieces and bits and bobs. Um, so one thing you can do if you've already noticed this, um, if you do like show annotations it won't appear straight away. Uh, if you then zoom in and then zoom out it'll then be there or just zoom in, um, it seems to then appear. What I'm going to be doing is switching off the image display, you can just do that by clicking the button and then the image is gone so now you're just working with the base map with your annotations over the top of it so you can, I can kind of like see where uh, I'm going to be placing things on this. Of course I've got this new one here which I haven't done anything with yet. One of the things you might actually have when you're doing this technique is you might end up with really steep areas. So this area here I wanted to really have it uh, quite well defined. And because of that you get these like super duper like really um, steep areas which doesn't look that good. good. Um, because it will just almost be like cliffs going straight into the water. So we actually want to raise this up a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing uh, another raise on this. And I've got at or below 50. So we had that before for flattening out the train. I actually want to go up to about 20 just for now. And I also want to do at or above 1 because if I right click I don't want to take it down a layer. And I'm just going to use something that's quite wide uh, like this and just use this to... Oops, a little bit too much then. Uh, actually I'm going to re uh, kind of remove a little bit of the... There we go, get the intensity down a little bit. So I'm just going to be clicking around here just to kind of like smooth out these areas just a tiny bit. So it's still got this kind of like cliff edge. But we've actually got this more um, varied kind of you know, uh, terrain at the bottom. And the same around with a lot of these places here. So this will at least allow you to do it. And there you go. You can kind of see when you've got it on a, like something like 20. You can see where it starts to raise up like here. So you can then you know, remove that or, or reduce that down uh, a little bit. So there we go. Get all this around here. And you can pretty much go around your entire map here. You can see that there my river's a little bit different. Because I have changed it just a tiny little bit. Actually, yeah, that way I need to pull back. But, you know, it's pretty good. And then some other areas like here, I've got it quite nice. Um, but you do want to do this just to rough up the train before building any, anything like cliffs or uh, bits and bobs like that. So do go around it and do that. And, uh, yeah, the next, probably the next episode we're going to be doing is going to be on... That seems to be a lot lower, actually. Let me just do or above. I'm just going to lower this all. There we go. Yeah, so that one. I actually had some at zero, so I must have right-clicked without doing that. Um, but there we go, yeah. Next episode we're going to be going over like cliffs and also going over... I think with this one I'm actually going to just go to out or below and just... Ooh, I don't want to do that. Out or below 50, I think. Actually get that to raise this bit up. Even though I know it's going to be pulling on everything. I'm not too happy about that. But yeah, next episode we're going to go over cliffs and uh, then we'll probably get on to mountains after that. It's either that or we'll do mountains and cliffs, but I think cliffs are more important. Um, but they will really kind of benefit from knowing where your rivers are. It will kind of like make it a lot easier to know where your cliffs are going to be. Because then what you can do is you can go, actually look, I haven't got any rivers on this. This can be a really cliffy area. Then we have some like more hills uh, where the water's coming into it. Same with this bit, we could have more cliffy area around there. And they can kind of like figure out where like also natural beaches are going to be occurring uh, from doing all your terrain this way. It just gives you a really nice base to start with. So that is it guys for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.